In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Friends, to prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries, we call to mind our sins. Lord Jesus, you have shown us the way to the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you have given us the consolation of the truth. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are the good shepherd leading us into everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who cause the minds of the faithful to unite in a single purpose, Grant your people to love what you command and to desire what you promise, that amidst the uncertainties of this world, our hearts may be fixed on that place where true gladness is found. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the beginning of the second letter of St. Paul to the Thessalonians. Paul, Silvanus, and Timothy to the Church of the Thessalonians in God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. Grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. We ought to thank God always for you, brothers and sisters, as is fitting because your faith flourishes evermore and the love of every one of you for one another grows ever greater. Accordingly, we ourselves boast of you in the churches of God regarding your endurance and faith in all your persecutions and the afflictions you endure. This is evidence of the just judgment of God, so that you may be considered worthy of the kingdom of God for which you were suffering. We always pray for you that our God may make you worthy of his calling and powerfully bring to fulfillment every good purpose and every effort of faith that the name of our Lord Jesus may be glorified in you and you in him in accord with the grace of our God and Lord Jesus Christ. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Proclaim God's marvelous deeds to all the nations. Proclaim God's marvelous deeds to all the nations. Sing to the Lord a new song. Sing to the Lord, all you lands. Sing to the Lord, bless his name. Proclaim God's marvelous deeds to all the nations. Announce his salvation day after day. Tell his glory among the nations, among all peoples, his wondrous deeds. Proclaim God's marvelous deeds to all the nations. For great is the Lord and highly to be praised. Awesome is he beyond all gods. For all the gods of the nations are things of naught, but the Lord made the heavens. Proclaim God's marvelous deeds to all the nations. Please stand. Oh, my 
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory, Glory to, to you, O Lord. Lord. <clears throat> Jesus said to the crowds and to his disciples, Woe to you, scribes and Pharisees, you hypocrites. You lock the kingdom of heaven before men. You do not enter yourselves, nor do you allow entrance to those trying to enter. Woe to you, scribes and Pharisees, you hypocrites! You traverse sea and land to make one convert, and when that happens, you make him a child of Gehenna twice as much as yourselves. Woe to you, blind guides, who say, if one swears by the temple, it means nothing. But if one swears by the gold of the temple, one is obligated. Blind fools, which is greater, the gold or the temple that made the gold sacred? And you say, if one swears by the altar, it means nothing. But if one swears by the gift on the altar, one is obligated. You blind ones, which is greater, the gift or the altar that makes the gift sacred? One who swears by the altar swears by it and all that is upon it. One who swears by the temple swears by it and by him who dwells in it. One who swears by heaven swears by the throne of God and by him who is seated on it. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. When I was a child, I remembered emphasizing a truth of what I said by making a sign of the cross on my neck followed by folding into a cross my index or four fingers together. And then it is accompanied by the words, Totoo talaga. Totoo talaga o totoo talaga. That demonstrate that what I just said is really true. What I saw is true. What I heard was the truth. In adult terms, we call it an oath, panunumpa. And an oath is not only an oral declaration of truth, but it is accompanied by a hand gesture. No? Alam natin kung tayo ay manunumpa, itinataas natin yung ating kamangkamay. <clears throat> and then, our left hand on the Bible raised our right hand, our left hand on the Bible. In the Old Testament, remember that only Jewish males can swear or make an oath. And so in the times of Abraham and Moses, the hand gesture is not raising the right hand. The hand gesture is bringing one's hand underneath a male person's genitalia. That is how they swear in the Old Testament times. And that is why the term for it in Latin, testes, means in English, witness. You witness to something that is true or truthful. We find this in the book of Genesis, in the 24th chapter, Abraham asked his head servant, Eliezer, Eliezer, you make an oath, put your hand underneath my thigh. Choose a wife for my son Isaac from among my kinsfolks, not from among the Canaanites. Nanunumpa si Eliezer. Dahil yun ang dapat niyang gawin. 
And the second instance is in the 47th chapter of Genesis. And there we find Jacob asking Joseph, Joseph, you make a swear, you make an oath, you swear, do not bury me here in Egypt. Bury me in the land of my ancestors in Canaan. Kaya yun ang ginawa ni Jose. Nanunumpa siya saan niya inilagay yung kanyang kama, kanang kamay sa ilalim ng hita ng kanyang tatay na si Jacob. Everyone makes an oath. School children are called to recite the panunumpa sa watawat ng Pilipinas. The Pledge of Allegiance, ako ay Pilipino. Buong katapatang nanunumpa sa watawat ng Pilipinas at sa Republikang kanyang sinasagisal. Before persons assume a public office, that person is inducted into it through a swearing into office. I, so and so, having been elected, so and so, do solemnly swear that I will consciously, faithfully discharge to the best of my ability the duties and responsibilities of my office. Athletes recite their oath of sportsmanship. Those to be married, their marriage vows or promises. Kaming mga pari, ang mga obispo, may panunumpa rin. We swear, we abide to promises, to keep two promises for the diocesan or secular priests at the time of ordination, the promise of obedience and the promise of celibacy. Wala po kaming vows para sa mga religyoso po yan. The vows of chastity, obedience, and of course, faithfulness. <clears throat> Kaya dito malalaman natin poverty, obedience, chastity, or the religious promises of obedience and celibacy for the diocesan clergy. Kaya tayong lahat may panunumpa. So in a word, an oath is a formal promise to fulfill a pledge, often calling on God as witness. And that is why at the end of the oath, the oath taker would say, So help me, God. So in essence, the oath is the time when we call on God to, to be our witness, that God will testify to our truthfulness, to our honesty. So an oath is very binding, and its offense, either by perjury or fraud, is punishable by law. An oath compels us to be truthful, to be honest. Tingnan ninyo yung ating ebanghelyo ngayon. Tinawag ni Jesus yung mga eskriba at mga pariseyo na mga manlilin lang, mandaraya. But Jesus did not use the word liar to call out the Pharisees and the scribes. He used a word in ancient Greek theater, hypocrite. Hypocrites in Greek. A hypocrite in the ancient Greek theater is an actor. He is an actress who speaks, who acts through a mask, facial mask, mascara, and therefore hides his or true feelings and identity. And in Matthew's Gospel, it comes to refer to people who behave falsely false interpreters of scriptures, false religious leaders, frauds, and liars. Maririnig natin si Jesus, tinawag niya yung mga eskriba at mga pariseyo na mga hypocrites, mga nagkukunwa. Marinig natin siya sa Ebanghelyo ngayon, bukas, at sa araw ng Miyerkules. A spouse who commits adultery violates his or her marital vow, he is or she is a fraud because he or she acts falsely in front of his spouse and children. 
Ganon din sa mga nasa pamahalaan. If they practice corruption, they violate their oath of office. An athlete does the same. If he or she does not play fairly, violates his oath of sportsmanship, he should either be removed from the game or banned from the game or from a game season. Clerics and religious, if we violate our oaths, our vows, our promises, punishment by restriction, by suspension, by removal, by reduction to the lay state. Jesus insists that we be truthful, we be honest, not simply neutral. In another gospel episode, our Lord said, Say yes when you mean yes, and no when you mean no, and other than that is from the evil one. Our Lord called the scribes and the Pharisees in today's gospel frauds and hypocrites because they were dishonest, they were liars, they were false. And if Jesus only knew how to speak our language, he would have said, Magpakatotoo kayo. We have often heard of the saying, honesty is the best policy. And the greatest advantage of speaking the truth is that you don't have to force yourself to remember what you said. Ating baunin etong mahalagang aral. If it is not right, don't do it. If it is not true, don't say it. Please stand. Conscious of our unworthiness, we raise our minds and hearts to God the Father and bring our needs before Him. Our reply, Father in heaven, you are our all. Father in heaven, you, you are, are our, our all. all. That the church, especially its leaders, may take to heart the task of renewal and reconciliation. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, Father in, in heaven, heaven, you are our, our all. all. That government officials may show sincere concern for justice, dignity, and unity. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, Father in, in heaven, heaven, you are our all. That media personnel may lead the people to the truth and promote the gospel values. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, Father in, in heaven, heaven, you are our all. That the sick may find hope, healing, strength, and joy. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, Father in, in heaven, heaven, you are our all. That the Lord may reward the faithful departed with eternal happiness for their faithful service. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, Father in, in heaven, heaven, you are our all. God our Father, help us to love and to serve you in spirit and truth through Jesus who is our way. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. pray that your and my sacrifice may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. 
May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. O Lord, who gained for yourself a people by adoption through the one sacrifice offered once for all, bestow graciously on us, we pray, the gifts of unity and peace in your church through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your heart. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord Heavenly Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. His death we celebrate in love, His resurrection we confess with living faith and his coming in glory. We await with unwavering hope. And so with all the angels and saints, we praise you as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, God, God of hosts, heaven and earth are, are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your, your death, death, O Lord, Lord and, and profess, profess your resurrection, resurrection until, until you come again. again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. We pray with confidence to the Father in the words our Savior taught us. Our Father, our Father who, art who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. name. Thy, thy kingdom <coughs> come, thy, thy will, will be done, done on earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give, Give us this day our daily, daily bread. <coughs> and forgive us our, our trespasses, trespasses as, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may always be free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. 
For the, for the kingdom, kingdom the, the power, and the, the glory, glory are yours, Lord. now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accord with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. We offer each other the sign of peace. Peace, magandang kumbaga, magandang buhay po sa inyo po. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Please kneel. Truth himself in person is Jesus, the Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Now blessed are those invited to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, am I am not, not worthy, worthy that, that you, you should, should enter under, under my roof, but, but only say, say the word and my soul shall be healed. Stand. Let us pray. Complete within us, O Lord, we pray, the healing work of your mercy and graciously perfect and sustain us so that in all things we may please you through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Mass is ended. Go in peace. Thanks, Thanks be, be to, to God. God. Thank you.